In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the widgets. Now, before I do that, I want to show you something. All along this whole time, you've noticed that the header is up here and the body is down here. To show you how mobile responsive this is and how flexible this can be depending on somebody's resolution, if I squeeze my browser down a little bit, you're going to see that the header at the top and the body here. Now if I increase the size of my browser, you'll notice that the sidebar is on the left hand side and the body is on the right hand side. So in this video, I'm going to show it to you this way because we're going to be implementing and tweaking and changing the widgets on the left hand sidebar. If you're not aware of, widgets are basically parts of the WordPress theme. Regardless of the 2015 theme, it's part of the whole WordPress system. But widgets allow you to specify that you want a search box, you want recent posts, recent comments, archives, and of course, there's much more to that. So let's say for example, that I only want a search bar and maybe the recent post. If that's the case, then I can always remove these. And to remove these, all I have to do is select the drop down box and click on remove. The great thing about this is, as I'm doing it, you can actually see the update over here. Of course, you can always reorganize these. Let's say, for example, that I want my recent comments first, my recent post second, and the search box third. I can do that. I can also add a widget. By adding a widget, this allows me to add archives, calendars, categories, custom menus, meta links, pages, recent comments, recent posts, RSS feeds, a search box, a tag cloud, and text. Text will allow you to add HTML, which if you know HTML, you could easily pull in an image and show your images on your sidebar.